Hey everybody, this is Matthew Seville with SLLounge.com and today's weekly edit. In this video, we're going to use Adobe Camera Raw and the SLL Lounge preset system to process a bridal portrait, and we're going to do it two different ways. Now, what I want to accomplish is both a bright, a color version, a bright editorial type fashion, you know, edit, and then also a black and white, more photojournalistic, kind of dark and moody processing. But we're going to use the same photo, the same bridal portrait. So anyways, let's go over here to uh, our Explorer app. And the awesome thing about Adobe Bridge is that we can browse stuff directly. So what I'm going to do is I've got my backup drive here. I'm just going to open up my backup and I'm going to find the wedding that I want to edit. It's right here. It's from a couple weekends ago. All I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the folder and I'm going to click browse in Adobe Bridge CS6 and it'll show me that folder right away in Bridge. So I don't have to do any importing or any of that nonsense. It's just going to start showing me these images right away. Now I already sorted through, I've got 5,000 images, so I already filtered out the one that I want. You can see it's right here in the filters, red filter. It's this image right here. And to process it two different ways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control D on my PC, or on a Mac you would hit Command D. And first, Adobe Bridge is gonna warn you or ask you, what do you want to do? Do you wanna to go to desktop, do you wanna deselect, or do you want to duplicate? I'm gonna select duplicate because I want it to create two versions of this image. And then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click on this other one here. And then I'm just going to double click on this image so that both of them open in Camera Raw. Now the Camera Raw window interface will look like this. Here's my two different thumbnails here on the left side. And the preset system for SLR Lounge is over here on the left in the presets tab. And so here we have all of our presets and let's get started. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to apply a crop, but I want to do it to both images. So again, I'm going to hold down shift, I'm going to click this second image, and it will automatically apply adjustments to both images. So I'm just going to hit C for crop, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to do 16 to 9, or 9 to 16, which is the regular HD uh, aspect ratio. Because I want this to be a slight panorama, I'm going to click and drag here from down in the corner, just to get it up like that. I kind of want to crop out this ceiling because it, it's not as exciting, uh, but I do want to get at least this arch in. I don't mind losing that arch, but I want it to be right about there. And I want this to be for both images, the color and the black and white, so that's why I've got both of these selected. All right, now to get out of the crop tool, I'm going to hit H to bring up the hand tool, or you can just click the hand tool up here. Now let's click on just this image and do the color processing version of this. So I want to do a bright editorial style edit. Now to do this, I'm going to start with my soft portrait mixology to build the foundation, to start the foundation for this image. And I'm going to try standard color here. I almost want maybe an extra soft color. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's going to give me that dreamy look. And this is a great foundation to begin with. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down on my mouse wheel here really quick, come down to the base adjustments, and let's try brightening it up a little bit. Maybe 0.5, maybe one whole stop. Eh, somewhere around, around there works great. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the basic tab and then do my basic adjustments. Maybe I want to tune it down just a tiny bit, somewhere right around there. That looks great. And the rest of this is kind of going to be personal taste. I could dial my highlights way down and try and get some detail here, a little bit of detail in these curtains, but I actually like it where it was. So I'm just going to hit Control Z or Command Z, let it be a little bit blown out, and just leave it right there like that. And really, that's about it. As far as the general editing goes, this is done in about two or three clicks or whatever it was. And from here on out, it's kind of a personal taste thing. I want to cool it off a little bit, so I'm just going to click on my temperature box and hit my down arrow. If I want to go a huge increment, I could hold down shift and hit the down arrow. It'll dump me 500 degrees cooler, or that's obviously a little too cool. So I'm going to hold down shift again and hit my up arrow to go back to 5100 degrees. Actually, you know what? I'm going to shift click down again, and I like the overall blue cool look to this room. But obviously her skin tone is getting a little too cool. So I'm going to hit K to bring up my brushes. And I'm going to just warm it up here. Right now I've got a preset for uh, darken. And what I want is down here this preset for warmer. I just want to warm up this image here. I'm going to hit my left bracket to shrink the brush size here. And I'm just going to brush over this area once. You can see it got a lot warmer. I'm going to make my bracket a little bit bigger. And I'm going to dial my flow down really far so that it's a lot more gentle. And I'm just going to go over this area once to kind of warm that up. And then, now that I've got this pasted, painted on a little bit, I'm going to play with the overall power of it. I'm going to just click and drag my temperature slider so that it just it gets the 
just the right effect, somewhere right around plus 29, plus 35, that looks great right about there. So now I've got warm skin tones and I've got the rest of this image looking nice and cool. Or maybe what I could do is I could dial it back down to about plus 25 or so, and then I could go back to my hand tool and just dial up the overall temperature, maybe one or two or three clicks like that. This looks great right there. I'm so happy with it. Now, really quick, let's talk about how I would make a black and white version of this image. I'm gonna click here on this second image really quick and let's do this really quick and start over from scratch. I'm just gonna go back to the presets here. I'm going to scroll up and get my soft portrait but I want to do extra soft B and W instead of color. So now I've got this beautiful soft look, but as soon as I go black and white with this image, I realize that I kind of want it to be a little bit more moody and it's just, it's just more of a silhouette type image. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit my exposure base adjustment maybe to negative 0.5 instead of positive 0.5 or 1. Or if that affects the overall image too much, let me just click back to zero here and I'm going to scroll down and go to my shadows and blacks and just do a medium darken. Usually one of these two options gives me exactly what I want. I actually, I'm gonna hit Control Z because I think I like this negative 0.5 a little bit more. But either way, it's kind of a personal taste at this point. So let's see what else I want to do. I may want to go somewhere just a little bit higher, maybe 0.4 negative instead of 0.5. And then I'm gonna go back to my presets and let's real quick just do a slight vignette over this image. Let's see, uh, light square vignette. Because I like the brightness here that's around, but I just want the very edges to be a tiny bit darker. So this is great right about there. And I'm almost done. I want to hit K to bring up my brushes. And I'm going to use a preset for general all-purpose or sky cloud ocean might work great in this scenario as well. I just want to overall kind of give the area around here a little bit more pop. Because black and white moody uh, photojournalistic type images always look look great when the details pop even though I want her skin to say stay nice and soft like that soft portrait preset that I applied originally so anyways there you go that's about it I'm gonna hit H again to bring back my hand tool so I can just look at this image in general and let's check it out here's the black and white version nice and dark and moody and here's the color version very bright and processed in that kind of light airy look I might want to do a little bit warmer now that I've been looking at that black and white version a whole bunch so maybe this looks good right about there. Anyways, I really love both processing versions of this image. It works great as both a black and white and a color image. And I was able to come up with both of these looks with just a few clicks in just a few minutes. So that's about it, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in our next tutorial.